Hey everybody, this is Brandon here, and in today's video I'm going to be answering a viewer's question from a comment on my one of my other videos, and it, I'm just going to walk you through how to complete what he's asking how to do. So if you look at the screen here, I've got a example of a pond with contours and a few dimensions that I've just thrown on right now, as well as the contour labels, which are just plain text. If I can zoom in here and select one, it's just a simple text, as you can see up here. Uh, the question comes from Mohammed, and he asked me, how can I change the color of my text on the drawing, as well as the dimension numbers, without having to change them all separately, one by one? So basically, he wants to change all of the colors, so maybe he's got them all one color and he'd like them all red. Uh, to stand out or something. So I'm going to show you a few ways that I would go about doing this. Um, probably the quickest and then the other one would be the most organized I guess. So the quickest way if all of your text objects need to be changed and this means all of them um, you can simply select one and assuming they're all made the same way as in they're all M text or they're all text or whatever you've used you can simply right click once it's selected so I'm going to go over that again select your text and right click and then you're going to go down to select similar and this will select all the similar objects in your drawing as you can see it's selected all of my contour label text but not these other different type of text over here or my dimension text and this is because they're obviously different style either they're M text when these are normal text or uh, different a different property of some sort so this only works if your text is similar um, to what you're using you can also use quick select which I can show you next but once you've got them all selected simply open up your properties dialog box which is this one here sorry my computer is running a little slow today uh, to bring up this box, simply hit Control and 1 at the same time. And you're going to just change the color along the top here. So we're going to change them all to blue. Hit Escape to deselect. And now you can zoom in and all of those text objects are blue. Now the next thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to undo that. there. Alright, so I've undo, done all of the uh, changes I've just made and made the text back to yellow. If we select one of them, you can see that they are all on the contours text uh, layer. So ideally you're going to want to make a layer for text and various types of text. Each one should have a different one. Um, just to keep things organized. So I'm going to select the similar ones here and change them all to color by layer. Now this will mean that whatever color that layer is set to, the text will automatically go to that color. So if we go to the home tab here and select one of them, you can see they're on contours text layer. Now if we select the color up here, by bringing down the drop down and selecting the purple or magenta and then I change it to uh, cyan all of the other objects on that layer are going to change to that color because they're set to by layer that means the layer controls which color they are not the actual object I find that the most organized way and then you don't have to mess around with selecting similar you can just change the layers color and all of your labels on that layer change as well uh, if you need more help with layers, check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with the new tips. Um, as for changing dimension text, it's going to be very similar. You can select one and say select similar. You can see I got three here. And then on the left here, in properties, you're going to scroll down to text once you've got all of these selected and say text color and change it from by block to whichever color you'd like. So if you'd like those text green, simply select green. This way 
your line work stays one color and your text will be a different color. If you would like them all to be the same color, you can uh, change them in the options one by one. So going through to dim line color and all that. Or if they're all set to by layer, which you can do by going through and selecting by layer at the top, then you can simply change the layer color and the uh, dimensions will follow. Hopefully that answers your question. If uh, you think this has been helpful or you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button, it's the thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and don't forget to check it out.